بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا ورسولنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن سلك وتبع طريقهم بأحسان إلى يوم الدين My dear respected brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن شاء الله today's halaqa will be talking about lessons from the story of Yunus alayhi salam in the Quran Dear brothers and sisters, when you hear the name of Prophet Yunus alayhi salam, the first thing that probably pops in, in, into your mind is the story of the encounter with the whale, with the big fish. And the story of Prophet Yunus alayhi salam is one of the most iconic stories in the Quran. And Prophet Yunus alayhi salam's name mentioned in the Quran four times. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the story of Yunus alayhi salam in multiple verses in the Quran to serve as a lesson for all of us. What lessons are we meant to draw from the story of Prophet Yunus alayhi salam, peace be upon him? First of all, who was Prophet Yunus alayhi salam? Yunus bin Matta was a prophet of Allah. Send to the people of Ninoa, a great city, but had become a wicked filled with idol worshipping and, and sin. An area supposedly in the present day Iraq. Like all prophets and messengers before him, his duty was to guide his people to the ones of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to the Tawheed. Prophet Yunus alayhi salam task was not easy. He spent long time preaching to his people with no success. Seeing that his people would not listen to him, but the people of his, of his city rejected him. Just as many nations rejected the, the messengers before him. And Yunus alayhi salam, peace be upon him, left the city in anger. When he realized he did not manage to achieve that he had hoped for and failed this mission, he left disheartened, having left the city without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He boards a ship to set sail for away from the city. Once at sea, a massive storm grew stronger and stronger and started to sink. After drawing lots three times, Yunus alayhi salam was one to leave the ship. They had three times they had the lot, and they looked, they didn't want Yunus alayhi salam to be one, but unfortunately, all three times the lots was in his knee, and he threw himself into the water. Something Extraordinary happens. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded, a whale was sent to swallow Yunus whole and then descended to the bottom of the sea. Faced with total despair, swallowed up by darkness and the deep sea. It was in the depth of despair that things changed for him, even though he was a religious man, a pious man and call upon to be a prophet. He sought help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as it is only Allah and not him who was in control of all things. The whale swam to the surface and ejected Yunus onto the shore. Then with the help of Allah, a plant grew over him to cover the prophets with, to cover the prophet with its shade. And after his recovery from the ordeal, he sets to return to the Ninoah to discover then that the city and its people have not been destroyed by the terrible storm as they have all turned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who was Prophet Yunus alayhi salam? In the Old Testament, his name mentioned as a Jonah. Prophet Yunus bin Matta, peace be upon him, also referred to as Jonah, was sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the people of Ninoa, a town in the area of Mosul in northern Iraq, as we mentioned. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran in so many ayats about him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Yunus, A'udhu billahi minash shaytan ar-rajim, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, فَلَوْلَا كَانَتْ قَرْيَةٌ آمَنَتْ فَنَفَعَهَا إِيمَانُهَا إِلَّا قَوْمَ يُونُسْ إِلَّا قَوْمَ يونس لَمَّا آمَنُوا كَشَفْنَا عَنْهُمْ عَذَابَ الْخِزْيِ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَمَتَّعْنَاهُمْ إِلَى حِينٍ Was there any town that believed after seeing the punishment and its faith saved it except the people of Yunus, when they believed, we removed from them the torment of disgrace in the life of the world and permitted them to enjoy for a while. About Prophet Yunus salam's behavior, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, and remember the, the noon, which is the man's here, is Prophet Yunus alayhi salam. When he went off in anger, this means anger toward his people, about the fact that he showed impatience with his people and did not wait for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's instruction. The Quran says, And he imagined that we shall not punish and he imagined that we shall not punish him. This ayah was from Surah Yunus. And Prophet Yunus salam, after leaving his people, went to a boat, a ship that got caught, caught up in a storm, and its people thought that they were drawn in such a desperate situation when the ship was being pounded by waves on all sides and they were at risk of drowning. They drew lots to decide to throw someone out. Someone out of the ship is an effort to lighten the, the load. And pro, the Prophet of Allah, Yunus salam, lost the draw three times. However, the people of the ship did not want to throw him out of the ship because he was a good, good man. And so he took off his garment so that he could throw himself into the sea and they tried to stop him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Safat, Ayah 141, <laughs> Then he agreed to cast lots and he, and he saw among the losers. The losers. And this ayah was from Surah as safat ayah, 30, ayah 141. After he threw himself into the sea, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent from the green sea, according to what Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anh said, that a large fish which cleared the oceans until it came and swallowed Yunus. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspired that large fish not to devour his flesh or break his bones. Prophet Yunus dua in the Quran, when you look at it, he has very important dua in the Quran that all of us we should memorize. When the belly of the fish, Prophet Yunus salam, peace be upon him, realized his mistake and called out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he said, فَنَادَى فِي الظُّلُمَاتِ أَن لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنْتَ سُبْحَانَكَ Subhanak inni kuntu min al-zalimeen. This ayah was from Surah Al-Anbiya, ayah 87. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He cried through the depths of darkness, saying, There is no God but you. Glorified be you. Truly, I have been of the wrongdoers. Ibn Mas'ud said that regarding the depths of darkness, that it meant... The darkness of the belly of the fish, the darkness of the sea, and the darkness of the night. Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu an and Ibn Az Abbas, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with them, and others also said that the fish took him through the sea, cleaving, cleaving it until it reached the bottom of the sea. 
and Yunus alayhi salam heard the rocks at the bottom of the sea uttering glorification of Allah, at which point he said, La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min al-zalimeen. There is no God but you, glorified be you. Truly I have been of the wrongdoers. When Yunus a.s. found himself in the belly of the fish, he thought that he had died. But after he, real, he realized that he could still move his legs and he prostrated, he made sajda where he was. And then he called out, O oh Lord, I have taken a place of worship to you in a place where no other person has reached before. He realized what he has done by leaving the duty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had sent him. Two things are important for us here, my dear brothers and sisters. The, real, the realization of our sins and the importance of the sajda. Not only did Prophet Yunus salam fell, feel, he feel bad for what he, he did, he immediately went into, he went into prostration, into sajda, to show how sorry he was. And he also said the prayer that has come to become important for us as Muslims. When Prophet Yunus salam hit the bottom of the ocean in the dead of the night and in the belly of that big fish, big whale, he did, he did not continue to lament his misfortune and give up, upon, on, give up on life. And instead, the moment he realized that he was still alive and unhurt, he raised his hands to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran about it in Surah Al-Anbiya. So we answered his call and delivered him from the distress. And this means that we brought him forth from the belly of the fish and from that darkness. وَكَذَلِكَ نُنْجِي الْمُؤْمِنِينَ and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Anbiya also, Ayah 88, and thus we deliver, we save the believers. And inshallah, we're going to stop here. We're going to keep continue next week. And the same episode, inshallah, we're going to be talking about Prophet Yunus alayhi salam for the next episode, inshallah. See you, inshallah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.